This is a video about how to access an assignment in my classroom stream that uses a PDF document and answering questions from that PDF in a Google Doc so that I can take full advantage of Google Read and Write tools. So first of all, um, there are two ways I can um, look at my Google Classroom and my Google Drive at the same time. One is to open separate tabs and toggle back and forth between them like so. The other would be to split the screen so that half my screen is Google Drive and half uh, Google Classroom. So let me show you that. So if I click, hold, and drag this tab and kind of tear it away from the browser and then grab it again and throw it to the right, it takes up half my screen. And I'll do the same thing to the left here, throw it to the left. So now I've got them both on the screen at the same time. If you have a small screen, however, there may not be enough room to see what's going on. I'm going to use the toggle method, so I'm going to grab this, actually put it back together with the other one. Let's grab it from the tab. And I'll put it right in there. And now I'm going to toggle. This is the method I'm going to use, but you can use either method. Let's first go to the Google Classroom. So this is the Google Classroom I want to go to. And I'm going to open this assignment, the sample PDF assignment. And I can see here is the PDF that I'm going to answer questions from. Now, when the teacher assigns it so that every student gets a copy, it always starts with the student name and then the name of the document. So this is very important. This is called sample PDF assignment. I need to find that in my Google Drive. So let's go to the Google Drive tab. Okay, I'm in the root of my drive. I have a folder called Classroom. I go ahead and go in there. And then I've got different folders, one for each Google Classroom I'm part of. Here's the sample class one. Okay, and there may be multiple documents in here and multiple PDFs in here. I need to find the right one. If I let my cursor hover over this, it will give me the full name of the document. And here it is, sample PDF assignment. I can go ahead and open that up. I just double click on it. It'll open in the viewer. And then I can see all of the questions that I need to answer. Now let's go back to Google Classroom. From here, I'm actually going to use this button right here, the Create button. I'm going to create a Google Doc. Give it a moment to open up. And here it is. So it opens it actually as part of the assignment. And when I turn it in later, it will include this Google Doc as part of my assignment as I turn it in. Now I can go ahead and click on it to open it up. Okay, it actually opens a separate tab, like so. It's already named right here. It's already got my name on it. And let me just, here's the name of it right here. And it's a Google Doc. I can go ahead and type on it. And I can use any of the Google Read Write tools that I need to in here. Let me go back to see my assignment. All right. Here is the viewer. Here is the PDF that I want to um, answer the questions for. All right, so I see I have one A, one B, and one C. So I can go ahead and start putting those in here so I have places to answer. So I've gone ahead and set up my Google Doc with places for my answers. So one A, B, C, and then I've got five true false questions. Okay, you can do this ahead of time or as you go, whatever's easier. Let's go back and read the first question. So here it is. So my first question is list what are the six features of the ocean floor? Okay, so now I'm going to list the six features. I go back to my Google Doc, and I go ahead in 1A, and I list the features. Okay, I'm just putting some mock text in there for now. So I just did 1A, and then I go back to B, and I read 1B, explain why has investigation of the deep ocean been difficult. I go back here, and I go ahead and put my answer in here. Okay, and now we can just continue to answer all of my questions like so. Okay, so now I've answered my questions, my A, B, 1, A, B, C, my true, false questions. If I want to copy and paste some of the uh, questions from the PDF, I can do that if that's easier too. So if I come back to my PDF and, you know, I kind of forget what I was, well, let's take this one right here. I kind of forget what I was answering. I can use my key combinations, Control C copies. Let's go back here and let's put uh, control V and there's the question. If that makes it easier, you can copy and paste the questions using um, the key combination. So control C is copy, control V would be paste. Let's do one more. So let's go to the true false questions here. 
you know, if I want to get the directions here, control C, let's go back here. And let's put a space and then control V. Okay, so if that makes makes it easier, I can do that too. These are the instructions, so to speak. Okay, I'll make that bold. I'll make this one bold. Okay, so you can copy and paste back and forth from the PDF viewer here into your Google Doc. All right, so let's say I'm all done. I've answered all my questions. Um, I don't really need to do anything here because all changes are saved automatically. And again, I can use all of the tools in my uh, read and write toolbar here. So if I want this read to me. What are some features of the ocean floor? Okay, so I can read, I can use word prediction uh, if I want to here as I'm typing. Next, first. Et cetera, et cetera. Let me just turn it off. Okay, so those features in the Google Write toolbar are completely uh, accessible to me because I'm in a Google Doc. It makes it nice and easy. All right, but let's say I'm done. I've used my tools. I've answered all my questions. I can just go ahead and close it like so because this changes are saved automatically. And uh, let's go back to my drive. I'm in the sample. Uh, I'm in the drive. Here's the Google Doc that it saved automatically in that classroom sample class folder. Okay, here's the original PDF. Here are my answers, automatic saving, but I don't need to do anything with it because when I turn in my assignment here, it will automatically turn this in as well. It'll give the blank PDF and it'll give my Google Doc and I just hit turn in. And it says two attachments are there. Do I want to do that? Yes, I do. And now my teacher has my uh, my assignment all turned in. He's got my answers, the original PDF. I can see here that it's done. Go back to my stream and it tells me that it's done. So that is a way to answer questions on a PDF in your stream using Google Docs so that we have full access to the Google Read Write um, tools.